Good morning, this is Brett from Video Hot Rod and I have another filter for you today. Today we are going to look at Spot. I'm not going to put it on both clips. All right, let's throw it here on this clip. And just to kind of give you an idea of what I've done here, I've got this clip, I've decided to group it together so that way I can just throw the filter on there and do the whole clip at once. I have lightened this clip with the cars uh, just a bit to kind of make it look a little more like the others as much as possible. And then I threw this other clip underneath. It's just kind of a random whatever out of my bin. I threw it under there because some of the filters that we are going to look at today will actually show that clip underneath. So that's the purpose of it. All right, so spot. It's supposed to be a spotlight. Let's put it on a person. Let's put it on Alex here. It's supposed to be a spotlight. It's supposed to highlight them. Okay. The fil the filters, the adjustments that you have over here are amount, obviously. Now, because you've been staring at this for a little while, when I go like this, it makes it look dark, but it's not. It's just removing it. It's kind of a blend between the two. So there's an amount. There's a feather. Contrast, radius, and center. Now, the feather is interesting. Let me go to this clip. It's a little easier to see here, I think. When you do the feather, if you take it down, it's a little more spotlightish. If you go too far down and you start getting into the negatives, it's going to feather into the negatives and make your radius a little smaller. But it also kind of goes oval shaped, whereas if you go larger, it's not as oval shaped. Now usually a spotlight on a stage is going to shine with a kind of a feather like this. So to me, having the, um, the feather do that is a little strange. Usually they're just barely feathered, but some people will have it like this. And move it around to wherever they want. Okay, so that's what the feather does. And if you get too large beyond your radius, it will... It will show up outside of your radius as well. Contrast is the difference between this and this. So this is a true spot. And you also notice you can kind of see it going up and down because of that feather. So you could basically have somebody on stage move this spotlight around and follow them if you wanted to. And then your radius, obviously. And center. Pretty simple. Now, your radius and your center can be controlled with these functions on screen rather than controlling them over here. It might be a little easier just to grab this. And then everything can be animated so you can animate the movement of this spotlight. And this is what it looks like. All right, so that was Spot. Kind of a strange filter, but it can be useful. All right, and next time we will go over SLR. All right, this is Brett from Video Hot Rod. I hope you enjoyed this one. Like, subscribe, all those good things. And I thank you very much for watching.